Hi everybody, this is the Baseball Hut, the amazing, spectacular, terrific, the great one, the people's champion, your host, so hi to welcome back to the Baseball Hut, and hopefully you like this video and hit that subscribe button, so we've got a little news for you about the Mets Kota Senga, I don't know how to take this, I guess it's probably not a bad thing, but I think it's like a paperwork thing, I think this is like one of these situations, the Mets are just trying to shuffle some paperwork around. They don't. They want to. They added a player to the to the forty man roster. But let's get at this from SI.com. New York Mets shift days to sixty day injured list. The New York Mets have shifted their ace starting pitcher to the sixty day injured list. Okay, the Mets have moved it. And how many times are going to say this? Sanga has been on the shelf since spring training when he went down with a posterior capsule strain in his shoulder. Sanga began throwing recently. And will need several weeks to ramp up in order to be ready to sh pitch in live games again. The ready will not be able to return to the action to action until May 27th, at the earliest when he's eligible to come off the injured list. In the meantime, the Mets have had to rely on Jose Quintana, Luis Severino, Shomanaya, Adrian Hauser, Tyler McGill, Jose Buto, and Julio Tehran to round out their rotation. For the most part, these hurls have picked up the slack in Sanger's absence. Of a Tehran and Howes got knocked around by the Braves, and McGill landed on the Iowa L with a shoulder injury. The Mets designated Tehran for assignment after a poor start in Atlanta. As a result, they called up Butu, who has, who has been impressive in his starts dating back to last season. The York also has a plethora of young, talented arms in the upper levels of the minor leagues, who President of Baseball Operations David Stern said could be called on at any point this season to help the Major League Club. Now, uh, Last night after the game was over, um, the Mets sent to Daniel Nunez, who was called up when the Mets uh, DFA'd Julio Tehran. He was sent back to the minors. The corresponding move was that they, they called in a, 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 a guy named Tyler Jay, who's a lefty, and he's from Syracuse, with the Syracuse Mets. And apparently he's a guy they found an independent ball for a team called the Juliet the Joliet Slammers of the Fran Frontier League. Never heard of the team, but he was at a, 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 any kind of a baseball for like three years. So they found him and they signed him, and obviously he's pitched well in AAA. I think he got a lot, uh, came in, in, in uh, relief a couple of times in spring training. I don't remember seeing him, but I know he had pitched for the Mets. So he, he's a left, another lefty in the Mets bullpen. He's just a guy to come in. Uh, fill in some spots if they need an extra arm, specifically from the left-handed side. But uh, very interesting. I always like listening, find out about these guys that are coming from, of all places, the Frontier League, a team called the Slammers. Get back to Senga. The good news is that Senga's on the road to recovery and should be able to join the Mets rotation by Memorial Day weekend in late May. For, the, for, the, for now, the Mets are off to a 4-7 and seven start, but their struggles have stemmed from a lack of offense. That is true. Luckily, DH J.D. Martinez could be activated in the coming weeks as long as his back tightness responds well to the cortisone shot he received on Tuesday. So we'll find out about that. Uh, but you let me know what you think about this uh, thing with Senga. I really don't seem too concerned. It seemed like the Mets wanted to sort of open this spot on the 40-man roster. And that's what the word was. They wanted to open up the 40-man roster for uh, Tyler J. And uh, that's why they, they shifted the Senga the 60-day IL that has a sort of a separate thing from uh, the 40-man roster. So let me know what you think about that. And, let me, of course, let me know what you think about the video. And, of course, please subscribe to the Baseball Hut. We also have memberships here. So if you support me and all my endeavors on here, I hope you uh, become a member of this channel. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.